Hi, I'm Creston. Welcome to the SQL Group by Clause. First, we're going to have a couple of slides and then we're going to get into some live coding. If you want to follow along with the live coding, be sure to check the link that's in the description below the video. All right, let's jump into the SQL Group by Clause. So the SQL Group by Clause allows you to combine or group rows returned from a SQL statement and perform aggregate functions on them. So an aggregate function is like take an average, take a sum, take a count. And you can group by multiple columns. So here's what an example of a group by statement would be. So you could say um, select uh, a type of record. Uh, so this is a column type and do a count. That's the aggregate function of the rows for that particular type from the post table where, and you can include a where statement, where published at is not null, and then group by, that's the group by clause, by the type. So let's take a look at uh, what this looks like with live examples. So as in the previous lessons, I'm gonna be using Ubuntu and Postgres. You are welcome to use your own database. Uh, using uh, this environment, I'm first going to assume uh, the role of the Postgres user, put in my password, and now I'm going to connect to a test data database we set up in a previous lesson. So I'm using the PSQL SQL client to connect to our test database. And the first thing I'm gonna do, because um, in earlier, earlier lessons we did already create a post table, I'm going ahead and uh, drop that post table. I'm then going to create one, and this is slightly different than in previous lessons. Um, this one includes unique ID, title of the post is a string, the content, a published at timestamp, and then a type string. So I'm going to go ahead and insert uh, multiple rows of data uh, that include each of those um, columns, although, although I'm not using the published at in every um, row I'm inserting. Um, but I'm also inserting a type, which is new from previous lessons where I'm specifying as it's a SQL post or a Postgres SQL post. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert those rows. Okay, they've all been inserted. Now let's go ahead and get started by just selecting the table to see what we see. Okay, so this is what is in the table currently. And uh, the first thing we're, we're going to do, so you can see how this works, and I'm just going to do an aggregate function. So I'm going to do give me all, a count of all the rows in the post table. And of course, it's gonna return five, because there are five rows. So now, let's add a group by to it. So, it's still returning of a column I was interested in, which was an aggregate of the count from the post table, but now I'm gonna group that count by the published at date. So you can see, okay, it's by published at, we're getting three are of one type and then these two. So the reason why it's doing that, there are three nulls, so those are the three nulls, and then each of the dates um, is unique, you know, not identical, so it, that's how it's grouping. So to see that more explicitly, what you typically do when you do a group by is you also include it in the columns you're returning because then it becomes much more obvious. So when I'm grouping by published at, I can see, okay, there are three nulls and there is one of each of these dates in there. Now you wouldn't want to do this a lot with dates, but what you may want to use as an aggregate function in your database to say, um, pull out the published at by year. So maybe you would have the 2015, 2016, 2017, and you could see the count for each of those years. But that would be a, a database specific aggregate function you would typically use um, in the group by and in the select statement to be able to do that. I'm not going to uh, show that in this particular lesson. Let's take a look at um, using this new type column. All right, so again, I'm going to do it by the type, but I'm not specifying it uh, within the columns. So generally you want you do want to return that, so I'll go ahead and do that. And now we'll see we have three SQL um, blog posts and two Postgres SQL blog posts. 
But what happens when we add the another column, the title? So you're going to get an error because it's grouping by those, but it doesn't know how to return um, title. And it's giving you a hint, at least this is what Postgres type hint would give you. Uh, the column post title must appear in the group by clause or used in an aggregate function. So either you have to group by it, so then it'll break down the count it's doing by a title, or you need to do another aggregate function. So for example, that would be a max or maybe a min. So let's take a look at what it looks like when you're adding it to the group by. And we also edit it. And now you can see it's now breaking out um, each of those by the title because they all have unique titles. So really it's just returning um, as if you did not had not done a group by. And you may be wondering about the ordering here. You can always use an order by after a group by in order to order by the type. Um, so for example, if I do, it'll go and order those by the type. But let's take a look like maybe you don't want um, that in the group by. You still want the count, but maybe you want the max title or the min title um, or maybe some other value column that's more appropriate. So you can use max or min, an aggregate function that just pulls out um, the max title. So now it just is giving you one of the titles. You could think of alphabetically the top title for each of the, uh, for the titles. And now it maintains the group by count that you were initially looking for. So let's look at something a little bit more interesting. So this example shows grouping by uh, two different columns. Uh, and again, just to I'm gonna order by type as well. So here we're grouping by the type and then grouping by the published hat. So we can see that we have this Postgres we, one of each that has been unpublished and published for Postgres SQL uh, blog post types, uh, whereas we have two unpublished uh, that are SQL based and one that is published that's SQL based. So that's how you can use two group buys uh, in your SQL statements. And putting it all together, let's just take a look at what this looks like again. And this is the order that you would typically uh, or that you would need to act set up your SQL as is that you would select the columns you're interested in, type and count, from the post table. Then you would have your where clause where published at is null. Uh, then you would have a group by, so group by the type, and then order by type. Uh, so that is the order in which the clause should be laid out in a select statement. I hope that was helpful. If you want to learn more, you can check out my free course called SQL Bootcamp. There's a link in the description below this video.